Hey guys, how you doing? On this video, um, I got a furnace replacement I had to do. What she had there was probably a 70 plus old gas furnace and she was probably losing like 50% of her fuel right up the chimney. It was an old system and uh, needed to be upgraded. So I I was there, you know, the day after Christmas, I believe, and changed the water heater and I told her she should, really should upgrade. So she... Um, gave me permission to change it out and what I put in there was a 93% uh, red condensate furnace uh, permanent split capacitor type of motor not an ECM or ECM motor so um, I rather use the old uh, permanent split capacitor motors in case they break in the future which things do break and it's the motors are cheaper so that's what I went with and uh, and, and this uh, I did some sheet, uh, sheet metal I did some panning in on the supply and return uh, I kind of took some video of that, how I do my stuff, and uh, the PVC venting going outside, and, you know, I'm getting too old for this shit, uh, all by myself and stuff, and that really kicked my ass, that job, but I got it done in one day, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Morning guys, January 7th, 2014. I gotta go change the furnace uh, for a customer of mine today. I'm putting a um, 90, 93 plus condensate furnace in, taking it all. Uh, I'm swabbing a 70 plus furnace out. So it's early. It is 5 o'clock, something like that. So I'm heading there to get a jump start on it. So I'll see if I get some footage on it. Uh, 510 in the morning heading there. Look at the pile on this thing. <laughs> That's just a pilot. Wow. Old beast. This thing is going to be heavy. <clears throat> Way oversized to this house. Look at the heat exchanger on that thing. Alright guys, I got the material off. And I pulled the box out and I dropped the furnace down to get the old one out. I had put a liner in this chimney. That's gonna get blocked off. The water heater, I just put this water heater in a couple of weeks ago. That's why I got this job. This job. <laughs> the A coal is a 30 ton unit. Looks clean. It's not that old. Hey guys, I'm gonna be cutting 
I'm going to turn it inside so I put the uh, pan on the bottom and sealed it good. Some screws and taped it good. Now we're going to bottom. Alright guys, I cleaned up this supply a little bit. What I do is I cut some pieces of angle. Inch and a half and then inch and a half and then one inch all the way around. And I'm coming straight off the plenum before it jogged in and then down. It looks like a better job when I pan it in. Alright guys, I got a filter rack in here. It's uh, 16 by 25. And you can see up inside here, there was, there was screws. So I just put some tape on there. Um, make the filter go in a lot easier. You got screws, the filter will bind up on the screws. You tape, put the tape and it works better. Slides right out, sir. And had a couple of screws in the front there too, so I put some tape on that. Filter glue. Alright. Alright guys, I'm making my transition here for the plenum and also the return. Uh, I got the return rack all done here. I'm going to just tape it later, but it's all secure and they're good. And how I usually do my sides is I usually take um, a measurement from here to here, like this piece. I got this piece cut square. Okay. Um, and I got it so it fits in there. And I push it up against here, and I'll mark here where I gotta make my bend. And I'll mark up there where I gotta make my bend, and I'll do it on the other side also, as long as it's pretty close. Alright, and then once I mark it and make my bends, it comes out like this. I got the cross bend in there, you can see. I'll mark that other side, and then I'll slide it out, and I'll make my two bends. There's other ways of doing it, but that, I found that's the easiest way if if it's really close. All right, guys. So there's my my marks. I got a mark there, black one. And I got a black mark, black mark there, and a black mark there. So I just put my S cleat. I put my ice cleat on the two marks, then I, I score it, so now when I cut it, I can slip the S cleat on and just bend it over with the S cleat. And before I make that bend, I'll make my cross breaks. Alright. Well, at least I gotta put all the screws in it yet. I'm going to put this last front one on here, and we'll slide it into the end here. As you can see, I'm going to use tape, I'm not going to use mastic, so... i <sighs> put that last panel on there, we'll cover that up, and we can start the return. Alright guys, I'm going to do the return here now. This is probably all done, but it's all screwed in, i got to tape it yet. But, you know, I'm off probably an inch offset this way and, you know, a couple inches that way and an inch that way. This is what I, what I usually do. So I get the piece, I, I get the piece I need this way and I slide it in there, I make it a little bit longer. And I, I mark where I'm going to be making my bends to the S-cleat with a marker. There's other ways of doing it, but this is the way I do it. Alright? And then, what I'll do is, when I take it down on the ground, 
and I'll put my S cleat like this and I'll mark the back side of the S cleat. Now I'll make that cut there. So then after I'm done with the cut, I'll slide this on there, bend it, and that'll be my bend. It'll be the angle I need and whatnot. I found that's the easiest way. And before I put the bend on it, I'll make my cross bends. It's a little tech tip. the same on this side. Once I make that cut I can slide the S clay over and bend it. I know Ralph from Teen and Services has got some good uh, sheet metal on series also. So, we watch some of his stuff. You guys are interested in the sheet metal work. Let me do this next one. Alright, guys, I got the return all done. See how difficult that was? Double offset. Just the return coming down. I just have to tape it all. But we'll do that next. smoke a little bit upstairs or oh, I just I just turned it on so come on good yeah I think so
the detector. All done with the job, I'm all loaded up with the furnace. Heading back to the shop. Not too bad. I'm gonna work on that ductwork, tying all that stuff in and running the van and all that, so it takes time. A little furnace like that, I usually bring the furnace with me and uh, switch it out and then pack up the stuff going out, you know, on my way out. Add it to my collection in my yard. I gotta start going to the dump with some of that stuff. Alright guys, I appreciate you watching.